Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Well, this is, uh, let's see, January 19, 2021. Tomorrow is, uh, I guess, Inauguration Day. Everybody's uh, hanging on to every word that... Uh, Q and a few other play people are saying, you know, everybody's expecting uh, Q and Trump to uh, save America. You know, uh, it's really interesting. Now, who was Q? Why did they pick Q for a name? Well, for those of you that uh, remember uh, 007, Bond. James Bond. You'll know that uh, Q was the guy with all the fancy uh, spy gadgets, you know, exploding pins, uh, cars with machine guns, uh, oil slicks. Uh, you know, I grew up with James Bond. I actually got to see some of the movies in the theater first run. Dad liked James Bond very much, so... When he couldn't find a babysitter, he'd take me, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, you know. Uh, so, why pick that as a name? And then there's the other Q. Who was Q? Well, for all you Trekkies out there, uh, Q was um, a uh, godlike being that could appear and disappear at will and, you know... Uh, do all kinds of stuff that were like godlike. He could uh, transport you to different places, uh, create things out of matter. Uh, you know, I don't know. I was never a big uh, Star Trek The Next Generation fan. It's, uh, you know, when I started, when I first came to the Lord, I started looking at... Uh, Star Trek from a different perspective and I realized the names that they used and the themes of the storylines were satanic to put it mildly I mean you know uh, especially the uh, original series I mean here it is uh, Bible teaches separation and segregation and they teach, oh, well, we're going to be a united uh, federation of planets. We're going to be all friends and get along and, you know, live in peace. And the Bible says God's a God of war. Um, they had journey to Babel or Babel, which meant confusion. Uh, the Romulans. Who are the Romulans? Well, Romulus and Remus were the mythological founders of Rome. You know, the Roman Empire, you know, where Christ was living during the days he was uh, on the earth in human flesh. Oh, yeah. They took a lot of stuff from the Bible. A lot of those names and stuff and what have you. But Q was sort of like a, yeah, he was a godlike type creature. And he would uh, interact with the humans and aggravate them and, you know, but uh, why would they pick Q, you know, uh, the James Bond guy with all the fancy gadgets and the godlike creature? Is there a connection? I don't know. Probably. But everybody's trusting Q and Donald, uh, you know who, who has a star on Hollywood, by the way. Remember, he had a TV show. He is an actor. And everybody's expecting him to save us. You know? Got pictures of him with the uh, Clintons. Got pictures of him with Epstein. Uh, you know? And Bill Gates with, with Epstein. You know, the guy that wants to give us uh, all a, a shot in the arm. Yeah. That keeps talking about the world is overpopulated. And uh, he goes on TED Talks and says, well, you know, we can depopulate the world through vaccines. 
Uh, okay. How about you first, Bill? And not that fake shot. I want you to take the stuff you're giving everybody else. So, but, uh, you know, while everybody's expecting Trump and uh, Q to save us, you know, the Bible teaches, especially John the Baptist, the Old Testament, and Jesus, all taught repentance. Turn away from your evil ways. Uh, follow God's rules. You know, Christ is a king, and every king has a kingdom, and every kingdom has laws. But uh, we don't want God's laws. No, we want we want to do that which we'll do what we want to do. And while everybody's looking for Trump and uh, Q to save us, well, the country's going to. Well, the Bible says that, um, and the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Well, guess what? America has forgotten God. Of course, so is the UK. So is the EU. They all have. So it's going to be interesting um, seeing the inauguration tomorrow. You know, basically Washington, D.C. has got, from what I heard, 25,000 National Guard troops there. That's basically under military uh, martial law right now. I mean, they arrested a guy that had a gun and uh, 10 boxes of bullets. I mean, does that make you a terrorist because you have a gun and some boxes of bullets? Uh, really? I mean, they didn't say what his crime was, that just that he was, you know. I, I wonder. But I think the mask is going to come off tomorrow. I really do. Uh, the thing is, either Biden and Camel Harris are going to be sworn in and the mask is going to come off and they're going to start, uh, maybe not right away, but start rounding up patriots. You know, maybe they'll say, oh, well, this one's got COVID. We got to lock them up, you know, or whatever. Or maybe there are going to be white supremacists. I don't know. But, uh, or maybe Trump will pull something. And, uh, you know, the thing is, if uh, Biden pulls something, you know, gun control, people might actually fight back. I doubt it. But if Trump did it, they'll say, well, you know, we got to trust the plan. Q says we got to trust the plan. So it'll be interesting seeing what happens tomorrow. And all these people thinking, oh, Trump's going to, you know, drain the swamp. Uh, well, why didn't he do this four years ago? I mean, you know, if he was going to do something, why was why didn't he do it the first 90 days four years ago? You know, uh, well, three years and nine months ago. Why? 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 I mean, he's had plenty of time. But some people just, you know, they're idiots. They believe anything. Hey, it's on the internet. It's got to be true. But that's the problem. People are trusting in Q and Trump. And they're not trusting in the Lord. In Psalms 118 and verse 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in in man. Never were truer words ever spoken. I've never heard uh, politicians ever, uh, you know, tell us to trust Christ. And just remember, Donald is an actor. He's got a star on Hollywood. Or he did or does, I don't know. He had a TV show, remember? The Apprentice? Oh, yeah, he's an actor. So, you know, these people that are trusting Trump, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to put my trust in Jesus. What do you think? 
What about the next verse? Psalms 118 verse 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Ah, okay. That sounds like uh that sounds like a winner. So I think I'm gonna quit trusting in uh well I never did, but uh Q and um I had high hopes for uh Trump when I saw Melania in Melbourne, Florida, giving the Lord's prayer at the airport there. I had high hopes. But uh, that went away pretty quick. So then again, uh, I think it was 19. What year was that? I forget what year it was, but uh, Jimmy Carter. I voted for him. Oh, yeah, I thought he was going to be, you know, clean up Washington. Well, guess what? He is His cabinet was so full of insiders. You know, he was... Yeah, I'm a naval officer, peanut farmer. I'm one of you guys. Right. He's uh, just like the rest of them. That's, that's what they do. They give you hope. And when you put your confidence in man, you got a problem. Yep, fasting, prayer, obedience. That's the key to uh, things getting better. But uh, a lot of people don't know it. But um, God's judgment is coming upon this wicked, evil nation. Nations. But uh, everybody wants to put their hope in um, whatever, politics. Quite honestly, I'm, uh, I'm about had it with... Uh, church people and their little plastic Jesus game. You know, they take a plastic Jesus and stick it up on their dashboard and go to church on Sunday and bless those that hate Jesus. Yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm hoping the um, I'm hoping the mask comes off and uh, they show you who they consider the enemy is yeah Christians Jesus said in John 15 and verse 18 if the world hate you ye know that it hated me before it hated you Luke 21 17 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Did the world hate Billy Graham? Billy Goat Graham? No, the world loved Billy Goat Graham. They loved him. I mean, when he was alive, every president used to have him come over to the White House. Hey, Billy Goat, come check this out. You know, come visit me. I want to see, I want to say hi to you. Matthew 10.22, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But Jesus, don't you know the Bible talks about eternal security and once saved, always saved? Oh, I, I can't find that. Where does it say eternal security? Once saved, always saved. I, where is that? Mark 13, 13, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.